So you can lay it out in one document. Don't worry about the format, but you're looking at things like products and services, as I've already mentioned. You're going to look at your customer types. Who, what, what, where, where are you on a map? What, what types of locations are you in? Are you in a high drug trafficking area? Because that could impact the types of controls you have in place or the types of training you need. All of these things are how you discuss as a unique institution, what are your risks and what are you doing to control for those risks? And, and when I say controls, well, let's look at number three in the middle of the page. You're going to have policies and procedures and processes. You're also going to have specialized training, perhaps, or, you know, really so you can deal with these risks as you identify them. And you come down to, so when you take the risk and then you figure out what controls you have in place. Maybe the controls are enough and you're comfortable that, okay, I, I don't think we have a whole lot of risk here anymore. So we say that that's a lower risk. Or maybe you take a look at a risk and you say, you know what? We don't have a whole lot of controls in this area. So maybe we need to develop those and we're going to stay at a higher level of risk until we have processes and procedures in place. So think of your risk assessment as your sword and your shield. Your risk assessment is how you attack problems, right? So um, maybe you're in a state that just legalized marijuana and there are special BSA responsibilities for a legal for a state where there's legal marijuana and your BSA program has to adapt to that, but you don't have controls in place yet. So that's a very high risk for your institution until you get those policies and procedures in place. Um, you know, and so that's how you attack a problem. You say, here's an area of risk and I don't know if we're managing it quite right yet. It's also a shield. There's only so many hours in a day. And so your risk assessment is how you can defend what you are doing. Maybe you have an examiner who comes in and says, hey, how come you don't have a very in-depth policy and procedure around you know, marijuana companies in your area? And you could say, well, we looked at our risk assessment and we've determined that that's a low risk for us because we're not in a jurisdiction where that's a concern. We don't have any customers that are involved. We are asking on the front end and we just don't think we have a whole lot of risk there. So we don't need an in-depth program uh, quite yet. So you can it's your shield where you can defend what you're doing and what you're focusing on because these are the areas that we've determined to be higher risk. And these are the areas that are relatively low risk. Tell your own story.